Welcome back dear students. Today our topic is role of microbes in the production of biogas. First of all, what is biogas? Biogas is also known, named as gober gas because in majority of the cases, the biogas is produced from the excreta of cattle. A biogas is actually a mixture of gases which predominantly contains methane and this mixture of gases is produced by a group of bacteria which are known as methanogens. Methanogens are anaerobic bacteria which break down or digest the biomass and this is accompanied with the release of methane. Okay? Now the composition of biogas it is composed of methane which forms 50 to 70 percent, carbon dioxide 30 to 40 percent and there are also traces of nitrogen, hydrogen and sulfides. Now the methanogens, where do they live? Methanogens commonly occur in the anaerobic sludge which is produced during sewage treatment. The sludge hota hai in sewage treatment, it contains the methanogens. They are also present in the rumen, which is a part of stomach of cattle, and inside the rumen, they help in the breakdown of cellulose and thus play an important role in the nutrition of cattle. Thus, we can say that the excreta of cattle, it is commonly, uh, which is commonly known as gobar, it is rich in these bacteria. And thus we can use the dung of cattle for the generation of biogas. Now the biogas generation. How biogas generation occurs? It is actually a three-stage anaerobic digestion of animal and other organic wastes. In the first stage, some facultative anaerobic decomposer microbes, they bring about enzymatic breakdown of complex organic compounds into smaller and soluble compounds. Okay, and these smaller and soluble compounds are known as monomers or you can say the polymers are uh, being converted to monomers with the help of faculty to anaerobic decomposer microbes okay and in the next stage the monomers uh, are acted upon by fermentation causing bacteria which ferment these monomers to form the organic acids and then in the final stage the organic acids particularly acetic acid they are acted upon by the methanogenic bacteria which convert the organic acids as well as the carbon dioxide which is produced during fermentation into methane. The methane is then stored in the tanks for supply. Okay. Now something about biogas plant. How a biogas plant appears or what are the structural needs of a biogas plant? Biogas plant is actually uh, a plant in which the conversion of waste into biogas or energy takes place okay and this biogas plant it consists of a source to supply the feedstock you should have a constant source of organic matter organic waste uh, a digestion tank for biogas production a biogas recovery plant or unit to isolate the gases produced and you should have a, a heat exchanger you should have a heat exchanger which is used to maintain the temperature of the digester here this is the framework this is the inlet okay you allow the organic waste to enter the digester and then when gas is produced you can either directly remove this gas through pipes and use in some domestic purposes here they are used in the generation of electricity in this genset and the used organic material is taken out in the from this outlet okay and it can be used as a fertilizer. Now we can also see how a biogas plant operates. The bio waste and the slurry of dung, they are fed into an anaerobic digester. I have already told you this is the anaerobic digester. Uh, the slurry, which is actually the liquidified form of dung, the slurry is covered with a floating cover. Jo apne slurry is anaerobic digester mein fill kiya, it is covered with a floating cover. When the gas is produced uh, due to microbial activity, the floating cover it moves upwards, it rises upwards. And you are also having pipes attached to this uh, digester. The gas which is produced it is removed through these pipes and you can, you can use these gases for different purposes. Okay? And the used slurry it is removed through this outlet and it can be used as a fertilizer. Okay. Now the advantages of biogas. 
there are different advantages of biogas and some of the important ones are it is safe cheap and renewable source of energy biogas can be burnt in stoves to provide heat it is used for domestic and street lighting and cooking and this is eco-friendly way of producing energy and it does not cause any pollution problem it is also used for driving engines and it is easy to generate transport and store it improves the sanitation of the surroundings by using the organic waste material you are cleaning your surroundings okay and at the same time you are getting energy the residue which is left after the production of biogas can be used as a manure jo residue rehta hai after the production of biogas okay that residue can be used as a manure okay this is all about the use of microbes in the production of biogas i hope you all understand this thank you and stay blessed